Today we're going to be fixing a couple of the mistakes throughout my home and injecting some color. You're bleeding more? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Hope this works. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Hi guys and welcome back to Making Home. My name is Kelsey and this is the series where we work on, renovate, decorate, upgrade my little home. My house that I kind of turned into a home. In my journey of completing my house, it's, it's hard to like complete a room all at once. I think it's a constant work in progress and I feel like I had basically not even a blank slate. I need to like build the blank slate and now I can kind of refine it. And as you guys know, the backyard video just went out. So I've pretty much touched every single space in this house. And now we're going to be retouching them. <laughs> For example, my whole main floor, I kept everything pretty neutral, pretty white. And although I like to keep things kind of simple in that sense, it is way too white. It is very blah and it doesn't feel like me. So today we're gonna be fixing a couple of the mistakes throughout my home and injecting some color too. Color, no, it's color. Color? <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Although every time I do a color, people, I get, I get shat on for it. Literally, not literally, but. Let's start here in the front entryway where I did a bunch of built-in storage, but I did keep everything white and it just never felt exactly right. So the first step of today is going to be taking the door color, which is kind of like this beigey, maybe a little bit of a green undertone color and bringing it across to the fireplace. The fireplace is also getting touched. Don't you worry, I'm so excited. In this little corner, I'm going to continue the three quarters of the wall. All this paint is going to this shelf here in Florentine plaster. And I wanna continue it over here and then it'll stop at the fireplace. So, I guess I'll just measure to the floor. Okay, so like a 73 and a half. It's basically 73 and a half. <laughs> the wall is so not straight. I'm gonna start with priming my cabinet fronts here. Just using some good old primer. Get it on there so hopefully the paint sticks. These white shelves were just really never it for me, you know? We still have some leftover paint. <laughs> oh, I love the color. Not regretting color choices. Painting the color and not regretting it yet. Maybe later though. So while the paint in the front entry room dries, I'm gonna shift focus to lunch. Also, can I tell you the amount of times that I just like stand here and stare around the kitchen because I really cannot wait for the kitchen reno. I can't wait to get rid of these countertops. I'm thinking something more along the lines of this and like take down these cabinets, do you know the countertop backsplash vibe, keep things a little bit more open and maybe even change the layout. Like maybe the island goes this way instead of this way, which might mean new flooring. It's just gonna snowball very quickly, but I'm very excited to get to it. That is on my calendar for next year. So let's hope that happens and I'll look forward to it. But it is food time and it's also sponsor time. Today's sponsor is Maiden. Maiden's kitchenware is professional quality meant for the home chef and it is used in multiple three-star Michelin restaurants and other hotel groups across America. Maiden uses five-ply stainless steel and offers a lifetime warranty. That's what I like because it's like you buy something once and then never again. That's also the sustainable choice. They've been rated five stars by press and customers, so I'm very excited to give these a go. 
The stainless cloud frying pan is one of their best sellers and it's also part of a larger collection of stainless steel cookware available on the Maiden website. It has better heat retention, more even heating, prevention of chemical leaching, and a wide array of benefits. The handle is designed to stay cool on the stovetop and is ergonomic to help balance the pan. If you like easy cleanup, then the nonstick frying pan is going to be for you. Maybe you've had the annoying experience where the nonstick actually wears off super quickly, and that's because there's probably cheap materials beneath the nonstick. Well, this pan's nonstick surface is double cured, made without PFOA, and is non toxic and healthy. Plus, it lasts 10 times longer than premium competitors' nonstick surfaces, and up to 70 times longer than ceramic nonstick surfaces. Plus, it's oven safe to 500 degrees. And this pan really is insanely easy to clean. I don't think I've had a quicker cleanup in a very long time. And I can also honestly tell that the heat is dispersed evenly. Usually when I blister tomatoes, there'd be some that are a little bit more cooked than others, but I think I got them all pretty even this time. You can say your own maiden cookware today, and if you use our code SORRYGIRLS, you're gonna get 15% off. The link is in the description down below. I'm gonna finish my lunch, and then I'm gonna meet you downstairs for today's last project. So here in my bathroom, I have avoided putting up this towel bar. Now the reason I avoided putting up this towel bar, honestly I'm gonna blame it on my dad. That's because he's a big proponent of not making permanent changes to homes. <laughs> like all growing up I definitely had to fight tooth and nail to like put things up on the walls and stuff. And he was like, I don't know if you should drill into your tile because what if you wanna swap out your towel holder one day or you just don't want it on the wall anymore. Now you have holes in your tile. And I'm I'm like, you're not wrong. That's why I put it off. <laughs> but I think today we're gonna mount it to the side of my vanity, which is still kind of permanent. There would still be holes in the side of my vanity if I ever wanted to take this off, but it is a little less in your face than in the tile. I'm curious, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you, rather just put this on the side of a vanity where it's like a little less permanent or a little bit less noticeable if it were to come down or are you like duh just put it into your tile why are you thinking so much about this <laughs> if you're wondering about less permanent situations i tried at least one maybe two types of glue and none of it worked this is our solution here i'm so excited to not have my towel just like fold it over my sink like in my sink usually it just goes right here if there's something you've been meaning to do Take this as your sign to go do it. <laughs> oh, I need a little Allen key. Where's the little Allen key? Today I'm heading out of town to do a little bit of thrift shopping. I'm on the hunt for some picture frames, a lampshade. First town was relatively uneventful, so let's head to my parents' place for some lunch and to go through some old photos. So I'm here looking for photos for a little gallery wall addition to my water closet, also known as the poop room, if you've been here before. And if you're new to our channel and not yet subscribed, please consider doing so as we definitely would love to see you here more often. I think vintage photos are a great use of art because they are classic, they can go with almost any decor, and of course they're super meaningful if they are photos of or by your loved ones. Okay, we gotta go thrifting. I'm on my way. Or 
store is very legit, but also the lineup is huge. There's probably 20 people in line right now, and it closes in 20 minutes. Have you ever seen picture frames price per pound? Wow, he literally weighed them, and these ones were indigo, so they're priced a little higher. But all of these were dollar. Literally weighed them. Okay, next stop. Like, I don't need new measuring spoons, but but I want them. Why are they so cute? <laughs> walk away. Just walk away. Damn. It's a nice door. Why are there no individual lampshades? I swear that this was a thing. Time for tell me what TikTok song is stuck in your head. Mine is when the sun comes down. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. On my side of town. Mm -hmm. Don't even know the words, but I know the dance. I saw on TikTok somebody took a globe and they put a disco ball in it, or a globe stand. How amazing. I feel like we kinda need that for the office. Fireplace painting day. Let me tell you why I wanna repaint the fireplace. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have the two lights on either side of the fireplace. We have the big mirror in the middle, and I feel like between the lights and the mirror, it is bringing our eye upwards. But then the fact that the whole back is the same white kind of confuses you. It's like the sconces make you want to look up, the mirror makes you want to look up, but then everything is grounded by the dark fireplace bottom. So the plan is to paint behind the entire fireplace including behind the mirror, which don't know how I'm gonna take that off the wall because it took three people to put it up. I do have Rachel here with me today, but even still, you don't even need like three people for the weight. You need two people for the weight and then one person to just make sure that it doesn't, you know, throw, throw off the balance. I literally might just need to find a stranger walking by on the street or ask my neighbor when he's gonna be home. I could just paint the whole thing green, but with kind of the green tones that I have going on in here, the front door and the garage space that I painted green, not to mention my bathtub downstairs, I just wanted to go away from the green. So, this is what I went with. This is Benjamin Moore's Townsend Brown, Townsend Harbor Brown, but I will say it leans more of a purple, hopefully, oh yeah. Not fully brown, more of a purple. Just an interesting, fun, plummy pop of color. I feel like it's raining more brown, but it, it does look purple. And I'm going with the regal line in a matte finish because I just, with the texture, I want, I want the matte. I think it'll look good. Okay, but like literally, how do we get this mirror off the wall? Let me text my neighbor. Literally texted like three of my neighbors. In the meantime, Maybe I'll just start painting. Okay, that is purple. Okay, that's good. I didn't want brown. Feel like I'm talking myself into the color. What do you think? This is your fault. Why is it always my fault? <laughs> you don't like it. It's a little bit more 
burgundy than I thought it was gonna be. Like you think it's more red? It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't mean I don't like it. Which is so weird because we went away from all of the reds. I know. It's gonna be a statement. Is it making the right statement though? This is gonna be done. I'm making life so hard to take off the mirror, but I'm like this will be done. Oh. Do you love it now? Yeah, I like it up there. Right? Yeah. Barney. I need it to to dry. What does it mean? Today's TikTok song stuck in my head is What does, what it, does mean? it mean? What does it mean? Ah! <laughs> Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. You feel good, folks? Great. Okay. okay. Watch the. Who does it? Yeah, so. TV, nothing else needs to <laughs> Yeah. Now you want to jump in and paint it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> They're literally best. We love neighbors. Be friends with your neighbors, guys. You might need to borrow eggs. You might need <laughs> eggs. You might need help carrying a mirror. Now we can paint behind this. Okay. I want to show you guys something, which is why this is what Kelsey and I were just talking about. This is why we should not discuss paint color unless it's dry. And I hope this shows on camera the same way it looks in person. Kelsey's doing a run right now and I'm just finishing up the fireplace, but look. I don't know if you can tell. Can you not see the difference between the wet and the dry? They're just always two different worlds. And obviously this looks a lot more maroon and this is this deep kind of plummy purple that we're going for. But yeah, just wait till it dries before you decide that this might not be the color. Flashbacks to when Allie and I were installing these cupboards. Do you remember the issues we had with the hinges? Just watch yourself. Ow! <gasps> okay. <laughs> wow, we both work. we both have wounds. Well, Rachel is now learning 2.0 why we hate these. I learned again why we hate them. They're just so intense. They're like snake bites the way they come at you. Yeah, like quick and yeah, intentional. We're injured, we're <laughs> troubled, we're upset. But we were able to get these ones on, but this one's harder because it's like, feels like a warm up. Yeah, that was the warm up for this one. I'm gonna go put on a bandaid and then we're gonna have to finish this. Okay, leave it there for a sec? Just for a sec. Ready? Ugh. Oh. Now what? Was this even the right decision? All we know is Ikea chose violence <laughs> when making hinges. I wish I had like chain mail gloves right now. <laughs> like having a full suit of armor. <laughs> I have no f***ing idea. <laughs> I feel like to make it, okay, what if we, okay. What if we just go in now? And then just see what happens. Wait, your side might be in. I'll be damned. I think it's in. No way. I think it's in. Okay. We're gonna do it again. On that side. Oh yeah, get out our tools. Yeah, no do you wanna get a shot of what we have to do here? There's literally blood on this. <laughs> Okay, this is what we have to do. <laughs> Are you ready? Wait, then sometimes we have to use the timbre because it's skinnier. <laughs> Going on. <laughs> then we can take this out. Matters worse. <laughs> we missed the spot. Missed the spot. Oh, oh, oh. Now just push it up. Just push it in? Yeah. That's it? <laughs> While we wait. Okay. <laughs> oh. Tam.
remember. <laughs> Scaffold. Just go for it. Yeah, it's ah. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you like these? What is it, just three screws to take off the hinge? It might help us because then I can like hold it and literally just go click, click. But if it's that easy. <laughs> we should just. What if we like put this here and then shut it? So it's like pushing. Right, so it's pushing into it. <sighs> You're bleeding more? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Okay. Uh, me? How? Is it me? Okay. Is it? <laughs> is it me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> she take a thumbnail photo. <laughs> oh, wait, is that it? It's on. No, it's not. No, it's not. Please be on. This is like a toxic relationship. It's like, I need you. I love you. But like, you hurt me a lot. <laughs> you, you couldn't have summed it up more perfectly. You want the good news or the bad news? Actually, I only have bad news. Well, maybe it's not the end of the world. It's just, what? just saying. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's great. We did great with that. But you know how we were just gonna like casually nail gun this trim piece up here? Guess what this wall is made out of? Poster. Concrete. Concrete. Guess what you can't nail gun into? Concrete. Can we glue it? We can glue it, but it's like, how does it stay up there? How does it hold while it gets glued? Just like tape? It's like that piece is warped. No, the ceiling's not straight. Of course the ceiling's not straight. It's a hundred year old house. The ceiling is crooked. Maybe this is a later ass issue. Okay, it is time to put my vintage photos in the newly thrifted frames for the toilet room gallery wall. And of course, these are copies of the photos that I had made. So when it came to this space, I knew that I kind of always wanted to do some kind of little gallery collection in here. I was inspired by the photo of my grandpa that I found that I really liked. I feel like the vent over here is kind of just floating in the space and I wanted to make it feel like it's part of the space, maybe with some frames around it. And of course, just to bring a little bit more character and personality to the space, because I think it's just a little blah as is. Say it with me, everyone. Templates. <laughs> this mirror that I had as a tray, I'm actually going to convert it back to a hanging and uh, maybe use it here in the space. You guys might remember I found these little tabby cat playing cards when I was cleaning up my bedroom, my childhood bedroom. They're not a full set and they've just been hanging around so they're gonna go up on the gallery wall. Time to take down my temporary shelf that has been up here since like March or something. Chris, Woodchip Chris, is coming over today and bringing a media console that I commissioned from him. I'm so excited, so excited to have closed storage. It's gonna look so good, but we're gonna need to clean this out first. Let's take a quick look back at the process of making this cabinet. Okay, so I had already previously bought some cane, but um, Chris just gave me some wood samples. Honestly, I've already looked at so many wood samples, but there's so many different woods, there's so many different finishes. I have some now, I'm gonna go take them to my house and I need to give him a decision so that he can get started on this cabinet. Special delivery! Act natural. It's not heavy. Oh, not at all. <laughs> 
Wow, I feel real useless. Damn! Don't hold the camera, girl. <laughs> wow. This is perfect. She's beautiful. It actually is so perfect. And these open? Wow. Okay, should we put it on the wall? Let's put it on the wall. It's beautiful. It's so good. Okay, your floors aren't straight. Are we shocked? Do you want it to be level? Yeah. Obviously. But nothing else is level. Yeah. So it will not look level. Level. Yeah. But nothing's level. I think we should put it to your leveled measurement. Right. right? Yeah. Especially when it's so little. Yeah, because this one's off by like a mile. Oh. This works. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Did we do it? We did it. Oh my god. Holy sh. Ta da! So good. It looks like it was meant for the space. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the reason. I went with the cane that was like the main vision was because I have the cold air return in here so I didn't I obviously wanted some kind of cabinet here but I didn't want to cover up the cold air return so this way the air can return <laughs> thank you so much well, I love it I love it I love it but the white oak is is the right call yeah there was a lot of wood conversations <laughs> <laughs> oh before you go can you help us put a mirror on the wall? Sure. Okay, guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>
completing what I never actually did in the first place. My bad. <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. I hung a towel bar. We did a gallery wall in the bathroom. And most of all, the upstairs got a little bit of a refresh. Okay, I'm gonna go do a couple things, one of which is clean my carpet because I may have gotten paint on it, and the other is go cook some dinner, which, speaking of, make sure you guys use the code SORYGIRLS to get 15% off of your own made-in cookware. Today, you can go ahead and click the link in the description down below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.